Advertising just got a whole lot better thanks to Nano Banana Pro, along with one more tool that I'll show you in a minute. Because now you can take an idea in your head, turn it into an image like this, and then turn that image into a fully finished platform ready ad like this one right here. And the craziest part is that this workflow actually solves the biggest problem advertisers deal with, creating scroll stopping content without spending hours or breaking the bank on a professional ad agency. So whether you've been running ads for years or you're brand new, once you see how this system works, you'll finally be able to create ads that grab attention, convert and outperform your competitors. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire workflow in the simplest way possible. The tool I mentioned earlier, the one that makes this entire workflow happen, goes by the name Arcads, and this really stands out as one of the top platforms for AI advertising. It's not just that it puts all the best models in one spot, it's also that it lets you create high converting ads really easily without switching tools. Everything you need stays inside one clean, simple workflow. When you first create your Arcads account, using the link in the description below, you'll see this window pop up. And to begin a new project, you simply click this button. This takes you directly into the interface where you'll be producing all of your assets, images, videos, variations, everything. But before we start producing the actual ad, we of course need to nail down what we want to create. I tend to like products with a clean, minimal design and bold backgrounds, similar to the kind of look AG1 and other modern supplement brands use. So I'm going to take that aesthetic and use it as the foundation for my ad concept. For this example, I'm going with a supplement brand called Hub. It goes by the name Hub because it's designed to bring all the most powerful supplements into one simple, minimal and stylish product. So to start creating our base image, we're going to head over to the image section inside Arcads and on the right side in the settings panel, I want to make sure Nano Banana Pro is selected. Nano Banana Pro has gotten a massive upgrade compared to the previous version, and it's now exceptionally good at generating high quality images without needing to rely on anything else. I'll go with three generations for this, and for the product prompt, I'll simply put in my raw thoughts and let Nano Banana Pro take care of the rest. Something simple like a product image of a supplement brand called Hub. It's a hub of various powerful supplements, minimal, cool looking brand with a clean solid color background. Extremely stylish. I'm not using a complex prompt, just writing exactly what I have in my head. I'll go ahead and send that and let's wait for the results. And out of the generations, I love this image on the left. This is exactly what I had in mind. The nice thing is that it also generated multiple versions of the product, which is gonna help us a lot later on because we'll build different scenes using them. Now that we have our base image, I'm gonna save it. For the concept I'm building, I need each product to have its own individual photo, meaning the bag by itself, the bottles by themselves and the box by itself. So I'll upload the base image as a reference. Then I'll write a prompt like, create a similarly styled product image, but now with only one product visible, the bag in the gray color. I'll send that. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the rounded shaped bottle. Create the same exact product image, but with only one product visible, the rounded shaped bottle in the gray color. And finally, I'll do the same for the dark gray box. Here are all the images we get back. And honestly, they all look really good. Now for the idea I have in mind, I want different people walking by and grabbing the products as if they're checking out, which means the next thing we need is the actual checkout storefront environment. So I'm going to re-upload the original image that shows all of the products together. And then I'll write in the exact same aesthetic of both the walls and the products, create an extension of this room that looks like an actual checkout area where there's a cashier standing with nobody else in the shop. And I'll send that in. And here's the image we get back. This one looks really cool. It has this minimal design that matches the vibe I'm going for. It looks very similar to the comps I had in mind. In my ad concept, after a customer purchases the product, the scene cuts to their kitchen where they're preparing the drink before heading out to a workout. So for that scene, I'm going to import only the bag product image since that's the one I want visible. I'll upload it as a reference photo and write, make an image of a normal, photorealistic kitchen where the product is standing in a casual, everyday environment. I'll send that through, and these are the images it gives me back. All of them look pretty good, but I'm gonna choose the first one as it looks the most realistic. So I'll download it. Next, I'll re-upload this kitchen image as my reference and write, add a half full glass of the product in front of it as if someone just made a drink and walked away. Add a scoop with some white powder around it and make the drink inside the glass a bright pink color. Here I'm also explaining why certain elements should be present because giving context like as if a person just made a drink and left actually helps Nano Banana understand your intention more clearly. This is extremely useful when you want the model to interpret the scene accurately. I'll send that in. And here are the images we get back. I really like this final one. The setup feels super real. 
with the scoop and powder sitting naturally in front of the glass. It makes the whole scene feel lived in rather than staged. I'm going to download that one. Now for the final environment, I want a gym shot. So I'll import the product image of only the bag again, and I'll write, make an image of this product standing on a gym bench as if someone just finished the set and placed it there before leaving. I'll send that in. And here are the images we get back. All three are strong, but this middle one has a really unique aesthetic that fits the product perfectly. So I'm choosing that one. With all of these images now ready, we can finally move on to the next step of this workflow, creating the actual videos. For our first couple of videos, what I have in mind is a simple shot. A person walks past each specific product, grabs it and keeps moving. To make that work, I need one final image. So I'm gonna take the base product image and tell Nano Banana Pro to remove the product but keep the background exactly the same. And this is what we get back, a clean, empty background. Perfect, I'm gonna download this one. And here's where Arcads really shines. And with one click, I can go to the video section on the left. And from there, I can create any video I want using any model I like. For this shot, I'm choosing the Google VO 3.1 model because it allows me to define a start frame and an end frame, helping the movement stay consistent across the sequence. For my start frame, I'm going to set the image of the hub bag. Then for my end frame, I'll choose the empty background, the space that's left after the product is grabbed. Now I'll write the prompt. A person walks by the product, grabs it with one hand, keeps going and disappears. You never see the person's face, only from above the knees to the chest as they grab it and move on. And here is the result we get back. It looks incredibly realistic. The person never stops, the movement is smooth, and the product disappears exactly the way I imagined it. Now we're heading into the shot where the person brings the product to the cashier to make the purchase. I'm taking the video we created for the bag and pausing it right at the point where the person is about to pick up the product. This way, the product is fully visible and the person's outfit is also clear. That consistency is important because we'll use these details again in later scenes. Once I capture the screenshot, I'll upload it to Nano Banana Pro along with the image of our cashier. For the prompt, I'll write, create a shot where the person who picked up the product is now standing with her back toward us, facing the cashier from the second image about to purchase the product. And here's the shot we get back. It's all consistent here. The person is facing the cashier, her face is mostly out of view, and she's holding the product naturally. Exactly what we need. I'll download that and jump back into the video section. I'll use the same frame from the original product video as my starting frame, and then I'll set the new cashier image as the end frame. For the prompt, I'll write, make the video transition so the person grabs the back, walks toward the cashier, and is about to purchase the product. I'll check the settings, send it, and here's the result. It looks really clean. I also love the gentle sound of the product shifting and the quiet feel of the room. It works really well with the look we're building. So now let's create the next shot. I'm gonna use the image that shows the person facing the cashier and also the image of the product in the kitchen. I'll upload both to Nano Banana Pro and write this prompt. Make the person from image two wearing the light beige coat stand over the product from image one, now facing toward us, looking at the product as if she's about to prepare something with it. I'll send it and here's what we get back. Honestly, this one looks great, especially this version where she has her hands on the product as if she's about to open it. I'm gonna download that one. Quick note, if you're wondering why this part looks different, an update came through from Arcades as I was recording. That's when the new UI came in and they shifted where you pick your generations. And honestly, the new placement feels way better. Next, I'll use the version of the kitchen with the cup as well. Then I'll switch back to video, make sure I'm using V3.1 and upload the image of the person standing over the product as the starting frame. For the end frame, I'll use the image with the product already sitting in the cup. Now I'll write this prompt. She places the glass of water in the exact spot shown in the end frame. The scoop is already on the counter in the exact same spot and position shown in the end frame. She opens the bag, uses a spoon to take white powder, pours it into the glass and stirs it. The drink turns bright pink and then she leaves the room, match the end frame. This is a really simple prompt, but it gives the AI a clear sequence to work with. I'll send it and here is the result. It looks amazing right away. And just so you know how easy it is to make small adjustments, by clicking the three dots on the video, you can hit remix and Arcads will automatically bring back your starting frame, end frame and prompt so you can tweak anything instantly. Now let's finish things up with our final shot. For the last scene, we need to add our character into the gym environment. And if you're wondering why I didn't add her earlier, it's because AI models 
can sometimes generate characters inconsistently. By letting Nano Banana Pro create our character first, we now have a consistent look that we can place into any scene we want, which is exactly what we've been doing today. So for this shot, I'm going to take the image of our character standing over the product in the kitchen and the image of the product in the gym. I'll upload both to Nano Banana Pro and write this prompt. Take the person from image one and place her into image two by removing the product and putting her on the bench, lifting two dumbbells as if she's doing a chest press and make sure she is sitting directly above the towel. Match the exact camera position, angle and framing from the second reference image. These are the images we get back. All of them are pretty solid, but for consistency, I'm going with this one in the right. I'll download that. Now I'll switch to video one last time. For the starting frame, I'll upload the gym shot with the character. For the end frame, I'll upload the shot with only the product. And for the prompt, I'll write, make a video where the person puts her dumbbells down, stands up from the bench, picks up the product from under the bench, sets it on top of the bench and leaves the frame. And here is the final result. Honestly, this might be my favorite shot out of the entire workflow. And this is what the finished video should look like. I've arranged the clips in the order I like, added some soft background music, and placed a bit of text at the end with the brand name Hub. We created this entire ad in just a couple of minutes, and the quality is extremely high with a fully consistent character. We started with nothing but an idea in our head, and now we've got a fully polished video ad. It's really easy to work inside our cats, and it's probably one of the strongest results I've seen from Nano Banana Pro. Now you know the whole process for taking an idea in your head, using Nano Banana to create it, and then using our cats to turn that idea into a fully finished production ready ad. And it's still crazy to me how much you can do with this. Because once you understand this system, you're not limited to just making fun visuals. You can take real products, use real product images, and bring all of that to life to create scroll stopping ads that actually perform. And all of that is thanks to Arcads. Because using Arcads doesn't just make everything easier. It really helps you create ads like this. It's easy to switch between tools. It's always updated with the latest models, so you're never missing anything. And it includes features that keep everything flowing simple and smooth from start to finish. So if you want to start creating ads like the one that we put together today, you're going to use the link in the description to jump into our cats. And I'll see you guys in the next one.